What's going on, everybody? It is Monday, August 24th. It's Rod with Pow Group checking in for another lunch update. And in today's video, we're going to discuss Hexacorp and whether or not the company is heading to boom or bust and what my view is on that. I know we've getting a lot of questions on what's happening with Hexo, the stock is sick, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So today we'll dive deeper into this discussion. Before we jump into the content, smash the like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel. So first I want to highlight the fact that Hexo did receive notification from the NYSC, the New York Stock Exchange regarding their share price. So in order to stay listed, on such a sought after exchange, you need to maintain a certain criteria, right? So one of those check marks is to have your share price above $1. So since they were trading below US $1, they were given this notification that if it's a consecutive 30 day trading period time frame, then you no longer qualify and you'll go through the delisting process. But because of COVID-19 and the complications that came with that, they were generous enough to give them a extension on that. And that extension is until December 16th, 2020. So keeping in mind, they still would have the Toronto Stock Exchange that, of which they're listing on, right? So it's not the end of the world, but it will definitely hurt the stock in the short term. Potentially they may weather it out in the long term and who knows, maybe they'll get relisted, but hopefully, Everything is starting to trend in the right direction because of the last earnings report. We saw that they blew the numbers out of the water. The company does expect to restore compliance with the price listing standards. So it's nice to see that the, the management believes that they're able to accomplish such a feat. So we'll have to check in back on that later, but I just wanted to do a quick video to give everybody some peace of mind on where we're at. We still have quite a while for Hexo to meet that compliance. So, and they're currently sitting at 70 cents a share. So right now you can see that we, on the longer term time frame, this is the weekly chart. So you can see this 10 day, 10 week simple moving average is acting as resistance right now. And we've been able to close around that. It's, it's sort of in an, we're going sideways at the moment. So there's a lot of indecision. You can see here that the stochastic crossed bearish and the MACD is still trending up. So not the end of the world. In my opinion, we've been range bound now for quite a while. We still have support on the 100 day moving average as well. So you can see here we have uh, support at 67 cents. So bulls are not completely out of hope yet, we still have a couple of support levels to test. Looking at the Hexo weekly chart, you can see here if we draw this support trend line, we're still holding that, that support trend line and we haven't closed below it yet. So one notable signal for me would be if we close a candle below this, we're sort of following the psychology of an ascending triangle. So you can see here that we poked above in a huge way when the earning report came out. But for the most part, we've respected this, this horizontal resistance line and this diagonal line of support, upward sloping support line, which would form our ascending triangle. And usually ascending triangles have a bullish continuation pattern to them. And you'll see a break to the upside. So we have resistance at $1.29 and 83 cents, which was the top of the move from the day that the drinks hit the SQDC. So we haven't seen any official press release for that yet. Just checking back in on the drink status. So we haven't seen a official press release from the company. We're starting, I, I, I saw that Alberta and British Columbia, I believe, and Ontario actually had some, some in stock. So we're starting to see national rollout. And I think we'll see some more formal communication on that from the management any day now. You know, we've already probably priced in for the most part. People can check the internet and they probably have seen that it hit the SQDC. So I would consider that baked in. So if you're hoping that a PR is going to shoot this, shoot this to the moon, then you may be in for a rude awakening because it's probably already priced in, in my opinion. So other than that, just keeping an eye on this important resistance at 83 cents, if we can 
break above that, we don't have any meaningful resistance on the weekly time frame until the dollar twenty nine, and we also have earnings coming on October twenty third. So we could see some pullback in SPY as well. So the overall market, the S and P five hundred, the Dow could all pull back any day. We haven't seen any weekly consolidation on SPY. So just keep in mind that if Hexo is struggling right now with SPY at all time highs, how is it going to react when SPY starts to consolidate on the weekly time frame? let's say. So you need to keep in mind that I personally would be using a stop loss. I still have a little bit of Hexo in my portfolio, but I'm using a tight stop and I'm using the 100 day moving average, which I touched on earlier as another support. So I'm setting it my stop under 65 cents. I had enough profit from flipping it through day trades that I'm comfortable. So let me know in the comments below if you think Hexo is a boom or a bust. Let me know if you're still holding a position. If you have any questions, any concerns, any other tickers you'd like to mention, just drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to take a look and do some analysis for you. Thanks again for joining us for another lunch update. It's Rod with Power Group and we'll see you again on the next one.